Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. We ended up spending about 300 hours playing our account, maxing it, obtaining all the max gear, but unfortunately, we were not invited to fight in this Deadman Mode tournament. Better luck next time. Dude, we logged on though. I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Deadman Mode, the $32,000 Deadman Mode tournament where the top 2,048 players spend hundreds of hours to grind their accounts over the course of 3 weeks, get to the point where they obtain basically the best gear possible, and then fight it out until there's one person standing, well, to win, you guessed it, $32,000. Now this video is going to showcase the process that I took in order to get to the final world, and my 1v1 fights but i'm also going to showcase some other creators point of view i already know you guys are gonna enjoy this video and all we can really do is laugh about it but with that being said let's jump right into it shall we okay looks like the first fight is a buy very laggy though damn it Conveniently, if you look at the bottom part of the screen, you see a timer. Runelight tracks how long you've been logged in for. And before we even got teleported to the first round, we had to wait on an island being unable to move or do anything for over an hour and 20 minutes. Now to someone that doesn't seem okay, like maybe it's not that long of a time, but we don't know anything. We don't know when the 1v1s will start. We don't know when it's gonna be teleported. We're watching the official stream, seeing other people participate in the 1v1 fights through this whole time it's a very stressful environment for someone that is competing in a tournament we have no information as to what is going on all we're doing is waiting for hours and hours on end and then we finally get teleported to 1v1s we get a buy in the first round and in the second round we don't even have an opponent again i don't know there might be like i might just get a buy until the final at this point <laughs> see he was fighting on the other account that's crazy oh shit Yeah, I don't think this guy is fighting. Good fight. Well, that's one way to win the first round. I'm not picking anything from here. Now what? Oh wait, out. please log out. You can move to the final world for your next fight. Bro, I'm scared, man. Do I log out? Please log out, move to the final world. Uh, which world? Do I... Oh, um, they just... My whole thing just froze. My whole thing just froze, look. Oh, they did it automatically. They automatically hopped me. I don't get the food. I hope I get the food refresh. So we waited one hour and a half in the other world to then get a buy in the first round and then kill a person that was actually playing a different account than AFKing on another account. So we don't have any practice in the 1v1s after an hour and a half. We then get moved to a new world, which is the final world, which is this extremely laggy NA East world. And we are waiting in that world for an extra 30 minutes before we even get put in the 1v1s. So there is two hours of wait time in a competitive tournament where you really need to be precise, warmed up, on point before we even get to a proper first fight. Hello? I'm scared. This next fight might be unwatchable for some of you guys, but I'm gonna leave it in as a memory. Could not have said it better myself. Enjoy this absolute disaster. Okay. Look at this lag. Okay, so that's his porcupine. Now we just wait. Trust me, boys. We just wait here. Look at the lag. It's insane. We're just waiting? Okay. This is not playable. I don't care what anyone says. Look at this. It's not even going off. Are you fucking kidding me? How am I supposed to play like that? Jagex! I see BA boys, I'm sorry. Nothing I can do. Yeah, I, I can't block that. Everybody in the chat, like, don't be like... I just... I can't put it on in time when it's lagging this hard. I prayed the wrong thing, good fight. No way, good fight, dude. Nah, I've actually lost. What on earth is this? Nah, what? I've, I've lost.
<laughs> Jagex, what are you doing? This is the worst lag I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, my thing's not going up and it should. Why is my mage not going off? Bro, I'm actually fuming by the way. Like, I, literally nothing worked. The lag is insane right now. What? Why is this taking so long? I swear I just clicked on him. Where's my bolt? Hello? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is actually so broken. Right, I'm just going to BLS him. For the win, come on. The BLS takes 10 seconds to hit. I just clicked him a million times and that's it. Lag. Okay, everyone's lagging. I can't click. I can't click. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do, boys. Welcome to Deadman mode. Nah, this is a competitive tournament, by the way, guys. How am I supposed to play this? Can someone explain to me? Can someone explain to me what this is? I can't believe it. This is what I played three weeks for, by the way. What a joke of a company. How are you supposed to play this? I'm sorry I'm upset, but this is stupid, man. I don't know what's happening but at least under no circumstances are they gonna remake it by the way that's what they said I know, waiting for a brew bell. I don't even want to win like that. Did I bolt? I did. This is a competitive tournament, by the way. I can't believe it. What a fucking joke of a company.
Okay, did it go off? It did, apparently, at some point. I, I can't put off pre melee, by the way. This is the biggest joke of a tournament I've ever played, guys. I'm so sorry for I will will DMMT. I'm unbe unbelievably sorry for him. I really am. I am so sorry. Disaster of a company. Wait, let's open the stream, boys. Let's open the stream. I feel so bad for that guy. Legit. It's not fair what happened to him. Combat and range potion they had available, only yep. two doses of each. Didn't catch that earlier on in the tournament. Maybe we'll catch it in a replay. To be fair, with uh, with the speed of things going, it's a little bit embarrassing that I didn't catch it. But uh, my attention was <laughs> elsewhere on the damage being taken uh, back and forth between the two players here. Now, skill specs is frozen in place. He was just trying to slowly follow his opponent with his Varex Flail. It's now stuck locked in next to each other. Yep, seems like they're experiencing a little bit of a delay here with some of the hits, but Manked is, of course, as I imagine, listening to his Mozart and keeping himself calm to try and get extra hits in as best he can. Getting hit at 32 there, that's massive for FBG. Both plays out of food now. He does get the DD. Manked is on the back burner now. Needs to hit a VLS spec big. 17 gets hit one back. Off oh, prayer. This could kill Manked when it registers any second now. 17, he's alive. Switch to tank. Huh. And I get an Ellie guy, the next fight. Welcome to Lagman mode, boys. This is it. This is how it ends. Well, I have a chance to kill the guy with an Ellie, though. Yeah, it's not the commentator's fault, that's right. But it's just a disaster. I mean, there is an angle where we win this fight and we get an Ellie, right? It's an angle, not a realistic one, but there's an angle. And there's gonna be half the players, so I'm assuming half the ping. Don't put Prey Melee off and we're good. I don't know what's happening. My shark disappeared, I think. The lag is unbelievable. He stuff specced. I'm just not putting prey off because it's too laggy. I don't even know what's happening, bro.
What a joke of a tournament. Sad tournament, boys. What a fucking disaster. What a disaster of a tournament. What an absolute disaster of a tournament, man. I'm so disappointed. I can't, guys, for the people that are telling me don't pray melee, there is 5 million ping. He has two weapons that have spec bar. I'm fighting a guy with Ellie and Arcane on 1 million ping. Welcome to Deadman mode, boys. So disappointing. So disappointing. I have a little note that's been sent across to me from the JMods. Um, and I've been told that following our initial investigation, we believe the cause of the lag to be a result of direct network attacks. Investigations will continue and we'll take actions as necessary. We'd like to thank you for your patience whilst we dig deeper. I hope you guys do understand my frustration about this tournament and hopefully I don't come out as too rude in this video, but obviously when you put 300 hours in a tournament and it ends in that way, it is a pretty bad feeling. Now in the background, I will actually show you what a proper fight would look like with no ping versus a very good breed that has an Ellie, for example. And I've done countless of fights versus very good breeds on 07 won a lot of my fights as well and I was really confident in my ability to even beat someone with a Nelly but in a fight like that with that much ping I just wasn't comfortable turning the prey melee off. Now in hindsight if I were to look back at it I probably should have prayed more mage and range at the point where he staff spec but honestly in that moment with that much ping I just couldn't think straight. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this fight versus Voss, and thank you once again for all the support you've shown me in this Deadman Mode tournament.
And now for the grand finale, the actual 1v1 final in front of 50,000 people between two really good breeds. I think it was Inya and 1013. Let's see how that went for them. Expect to see him go refarm. Uh, I guess unfortunately, he, must have, uh, he, uh, he got taken, taken out. Tank not strong enough. No. But here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the final fight of Dead Man Reborn. The last three and a half weeks have accumulated. Well, I can't think of the word. I'm too excited. But they've all came into this moment right here, right now. Inya versus 1013, two of the best tribrids in the yep. entire game. Will egos get the better of them? Well, we'll see. They're both going to give them all, I'm sure, because they, they know that there's a lot of money on the line. And also, it's there's a show for you guys to watch. In terms of who is who, Low9MMM, that is 1013. Wolf90, that is Inya. Now, like I said before, they're in the same clan. They're good friends. But they're still going to, you know, they've made it this far. They're going to do all they can to win. It's like everything on the line right now. Both these guys are, you know, revered as some of the best PKs <laughs> in the game. But, you know, if you win the DMM tournament, that you are the winner. So, I mean, they don't want to, they're going to play all the stops here to, uh, to take each other on. Uh, looks like... 10-13 low, does get the VLS and runs away, gets another VLS, gets a free hit in there, but gets hit 34 back by Wolf. Uh, Wolf Inya does try to go for VLS again, goes for VLS spec on the pro melee. Both these guys probably actually practicing against each other a lot before this final took place. So they know each other's styles, they know what to expect, mm -hmm. what to predict, and I guess it's the, as, as the famous Odoblock always says, it's the unpredictability that uh, really follows through and allows you to get that advantage over your opponent. So having to like change up their strategies of what they expect to see from each other Ooh, is really important. A staff bash come in though from 1013. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Yeah, potentially a oh, misclick. Oh, okay, this may be why it seems like we are um, once again potentially having some issues in terms of uh, network attacks, but hopefully it will stabilize and they continue. That would probably explain why I'll uh, I'll not insult 1013 any further into line the next how victim of his, uh, <laughs> of his switches. Next DMM, he's <laughs> after your head, mate. I know, so right? Your bank, you better hope the free life system's gone by then. You're, yeah, unfortunately, you're the, uh, the Varak <laughs> Rooftops will never be safe for me, it seems. <laughs> I think both players respectfully are just going to wait it out momentarily to give you guys uh, the best the best show they can. Uh, it looks like they are going to continue here now that the lag has subsided. Um, Wolf does go for the barrage again, gets hit a tw gets a 24 in there, goes for the VLS spec, and Low does manage to quickly drip away to the corner of the map. But I think again they're dealing with a little bit of technical difficulties currently. So once again, apologies for that on the live stream. Um, I think these guys will probably just wait a second or maybe they're just going to keep trying to fight through it as best they can. Obviously, both players experience the same situation here, so not too much we can do, unfortunately. It's... Uh it, it is rather unfortunate yeah. to see, especially given, you know, Dead Man isn't an event that we get to see um, very often, and I guess it's one of the one of the downfalls of having a purely online tournament it's very difficult to arrange for you know over 2000 players to to be put together in person for an event especially during you know a pandemic such as co as covid even if that wasn't a thing yeah. it would be very difficult yeah. um so yeah we're just going to see if the players can uh, can wait it out whilst we um continue to investigate the network issues that we're having which do appear to be as a result of attacks on the on the servers, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess this is the one benefit of these guys being like good friends. I guess anyone in the top eight, right, they're all going to be yeah. good mates. They want to put us being, a good show yeah, for us, be, and that's being respectable. In a, being in a, you know, in, a, in, a, in a, the same clan and being friends means that they just want to, you know, make sure it's the fairest possible for you guys at home to give you guys a good show too. So maybe a clap in the chat, a smiley face to say thank you for the boys for uh, yeah, giving us a, a nice match up when they're able to and just wait it out to see who the you know the true one versus one <laughs> winner is. These guys don't want to win for you know default or for a little bit of lag. They're gonna wait it out and uh, I respect them that I respect them for that. So and yeah, hey, thank they, you guys. They get more screen time, we get more time to talk. <laughs> more time next to you, buddy. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, mate. It's, <laughs> it's been such a wonderful event once again to be able to catch up with everyone. You know, the, I really really like to uh, talk about RuneScape obviously as the big nerd that I am too. But yeah, Really? I could never have told. <laughs> <laughs> Never been able to tell, mate. Yeah, no, I, I could probably talk for days about PvP, to be honest <laughs> with you, man. Probably not a good thing. I'm sure the Twitch chat doesn't want to hear that anymore. But uh, we are on the final battle if you are joining us currently in this $32,000 tournament. This is Low9 versus Wolf. Low9 being 1013, Wolf being Inya. Both in the same clan, both good friends, but everything is on the line. Who wants to be the number one player of Deadman mode? Looks like. Both players have all their special attack as well. So a lot more of their special attack regained as well from waiting it out, which means some potential KO, some KOs potentially going to happen as well. The 60 pluses, the 70s from the, the VLS, um, although maybe they're going to wait out things just a little bit longer. Yeah, we may be waiting a while until we can see those coming through. Um, oh. oh, never mind. There's a 31. Through protect from melee, though, at least, um, with the armadillo on. Interesting oh. that they... Uh, 
they really do just stick in the armor deal quite a lot and don't tend to switch out to that tank. I guess it's because again you mentioned they know that they're a, you know they know their playstyle something for the mage range and only really using melee yeah. for the specs, right? And also yeah, exactly. Um, because of the the VLS rolling off your opponents like 25% of your opponent's defense, um, even though armor deal has negative attack bonuses, a lot of people say this probably. Why are you specking an, an armor deal? It, it doesn't really matter too much because the VLS is just so accurate. It's not going to make a huge difference. And having that mage defense bonus, not getting frozen in these tribal fights is just so crucial to controlling, gaining that momentum and uh, and keeping it going. Uh, but currently, in terms of supplies, looks like Wolf Inya is completely out, aside from one Brudos. Gets a 47 volt there, though, into the barrage. <laughs> looks like 1013, a low nine, is almost out of food as well. This fight is actually quite neck and neck, despite the, uh, the advantage. And I think they're going to wait it out a little bit longer. To, uh, to jump back into the mix. Nope, they're straight back into it. 28 bolt from Wolf there as well. Going for the freeze. Isn't able to catch it. Low bolts back on the Prey Mage. Might get hit in here. Zero. Wolf, the Svila spec. 45 KO. No way. Takes it down. <laughs> the front light lit alliance. And uh, yeah, it looks like Inya manages to take down uh, friend yeah. and also temporary foe. 10.13. Unfortunately, this is where the Deadman World journey ends for us. If you guys made it this far in the video, I sincerely appreciate you. Let me know in the comments if you actually sticked through till the end, but here are a couple of words that I would just like to say in the end. First of all, I think we need a rerun. If there is no rerun for this tournament, I, I just honestly lost all hope for this game. I'll be honest with you guys. Secondly, I am not sure as to why the tournament was not paused. Once you know that you're getting DDoS attacks from all these sorts of places, pause the tournament. We have had that feature put into the game for the sole reason of when something bad happens, everything pauses. However, this time around they didn't even initiate the pause. We've had pauses in quite a few past tournaments and it's a really good feature to have and be ready so as soon as you see a problem boom click the switch pause the tournament another thing i'm really hoping on is that they have saved the files of everyone's accounts so if they do a rerun we are able to actually get the gear that we had um, those are all the things that i want to say here obviously a little bit of a disappointment from my side i'm sorry if i disappointed any one of you guys but nonetheless thank you very much for supporting me throughout this journey i appreciate you all uh sorry for the very long video it just had to all be out there and uh yeah i'll see you again very soon with another video i guess have a good one and bye bye